Hi everyone, this is Meredith SK, or Lady Cartoonist over on Instagram, and in this video I'm going to be giving you another quick tip on using Clip Studio Paint. In this video I'm going to be talking about the Vector Erase tools, which really blew my mind when I saw them and was one of the main reasons I decided to start checking out Clip Studio Paint. So here I've brought in a photo of a very rough sketch from my sketchbook and done some basic line work on top of it. So the first thing I'm going to do is hit the E on my keyboard, which will bring up these two palettes over here. The top one are the options for the eraser tool. I have vector selected. So below it are the tool properties for the vector eraser. There are three main settings I'm going to be showing you with the vector erase tool. The erase touching part, erase up to intersection, and erase overall line. The erase touching part is pretty obvious. Make your brush as big as you want it, and go over your line, and it erases whatever section you just went over. The erase overall line will erase any line that a single brush stroke made. So if I went over her hair here, even though it intersects over many other lines, if I go over it, it'll erase that whole line. And of course you can use this to go over many lines at once if you really want to you know, undo a lot of mistakes. But my favorite tool is the Erase Up to Intersection. Now previously, if I had been using Photoshop for inking, I would be very careful when drawing something like this hair to either do it in one fluid motion or to make sure it really lined up because otherwise my cleanup would take forever later on. But with the Erase Up to Intersection tool, I can go in here and make a single swoop and it'll erase those lines up until where they meet, which makes cleanup on something like this hair much easier. So you can go over broad sections like that, erase large things, even just do this in a single move. Or you can really zoom in and make your brush small and erase some of these smaller parts. So I can, when I'm drawing now, really draw more fluidly uh, and not worry so much about these lines intersecting each other. So that about wraps up this video on the vector erase tool. In the next couple videos, I'll be showing you how to further modify your vector lines as you clean up your drawing.